guys welcome back this is a boy here adam sling how you guys doing and uh this is my channel ninja boy well the, obviously the reason why i'm making this video you already saw the title of this video is on how you can buy dogecoin or any other cryptocurrency in nigeria and also how you can buy cryptocurrency outside nigeria using binance so if you already downloaded binance good for you so this video is for you because this video is entirely on binance alone so uh you know because of the restriction because of the ban in crypt of crypto of, uh, of uh, cryptocurrency in nigeria is way so so difficult for all people in nigeria in nigeria to buy cryptocurrency directly because of the ban but if you are outside nigeria it's so so easy for you because you can just use your card directly to buy cryptocurrency anyone you want from binance but unfortunately we nigerians we can't do that why in nigeria even if you're outside nigeria and you use the same card nigeria banks won't allow you to buy i've tried it severally and uh i'm going to teach you two ways on how you can do that firstly is to go on social media check out check all those adverts of people who deal on cryptocurrency we usually see their adverts on instagram all the time on or nigeria blogs they say they deal they sell on cryptocurrency and uh, the disadvantage about this is that uh, their price is usually very, very high. Their prices are usually very, very high. And uh, also, some of, their, some of them are also 419. Sometimes you will see them scamming uh, sellers. Sometimes a seller will send them, a buyer will send them money. And before you know it, they won't pick that buyer's call any longer. They will just take that buyer's money and go away. And also, some people will instead of saying, sending you the amount of currency that you bought from them so certain amounts they're going to say you lesser so and because of that uh, i think it's really really risky to buy any cryptocurrency directly from anyone uh on social media who is advertising uh, advertising though there are some really really good re reliable people out there so i have bought personally from people on social media advertising but they are good but sorry i won't introduce any of them to you because i don't know what they might do tomorrow to you and you start saying oh adam adam slink referred you to that particular person so I'm, I'm i'm teaching you the safest way on how you can buy dogecoin or any other currency you want to buy this is what i'm going to teach you now so one of the easiest methods for you to buy that is called p2p people call it pre to p people call it a uh, person to person what i call it people to people so me i usually call it p2p because p2p is written there so other people call it other names is one of the safest way and uh it's only on binance so what the thing that i'll be discussing entirely will be based on binance so i think we should jump right into it firstly let me put on my screen recorder So that's my screen uh, screen recorder, and you can see Binance there. So I'm just gonna click on Binance. See the market is up. Uh, Doge, uh, uh, Bitcoin is crashing uh, seriously. Doge is like 219 naira, and other uh, currencies as well. So firstly, guys, if you're outside abroad, you want to buy Dogecoin, this is what you will do. You see down top, the down the down you will see this arrow that point like this that also point like this the middle icon with the black arrows and uh in the yellow something yellowish uh well, whatever sign is called where you click on it you will see buy sell deposit convert so if you are by this outside nigeria if you are using outside card not nigeria bank so outside cards then uh, you just click on buy currency then let us say you want to buy dogecoin you just click on the amount of dogecoin you want to buy that's so 20 thousand naira say buy then you immediately click on confirm then you fill in your details i have felt i have filled these details more than 20 times it didn't go for me it never went through for me so there's no need me filling my my cards and everything here no 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 there's no need for that because i know it, it will go but if you are outside abroad outside nigeria sorry this this one will is will will be very very okay for you and it's way cheaper than this, than, than this next step that i want to take to buy 
cryptocurrency but obviously we are in nigeria so we have to pay extra in order for us to get things even labor said we work extra hard in labor and so many other things in this country you know little labor that somebody in usa would do and hand something like 15 dollar over here you would do times 20 of the same labor to hand close to 50 15 dollar so that is one of the things that we are facing in nigeria so uh let's move over to the next step you see that icon that has a human head at your top left your top left your top left icon you just click on it and uh, it's going to bring you here to this page i show you see my own uh i am verified already i am verified already and uh this please make sure you are verified in order for you to use this method so uh the next thing that you're going to click on you see uh binance light you have to move that white round cycle to your left so it will take you to our left so it's going to automatically bring you to this page binance pro so then on the down uh, right the down right you see wallet down right last icon that is wallet then you click on wallet it's going to show you uh at the top at the top you're going to read you see overview spot margin future, uh, futures p2p and pool then we are definitely click, clicking on p2p so let's click on p2p then we tell us to buy sell transfer we are buying so we're going to click on buy then it gives us option first one is going to show you usdt bitcoin you a busd bnb e eth ng and D I D A I. well i will advise you to always do your research i will advise you to me myself i the best way on for me to buy currencies use this method and i prefer buying usdt firstly you're going to buy usdt that's my method i'm teaching you my method you're going to buy usdt because usdc is one of the most stable coin because it's just like the dollar when the dollar dollar rises it rises too when it drop it drops too but unfortunately in binance the current amount for usdt is 465 naira but when you are going to p2p since you are buying from uh, binance customers it's now 497 naira point 80 cobble so you see every binance will show you possible sellers people want to sell it will show you everything you can scroll down and make sure when you want to buy from any of those person that you are seeing here make sure you check the limit and check the trades to know how many trades they have done so let me uh, let me say i want to buy a uh, usdt worth of ten thousand naira. Let, let us try it out because i'm experimenting it buying i don't want to just keep talking so uh i want to buy from Bucci, the first person and you can see the limit there is hundred thousand naira to seventy six thousand naira so i just click on buy buy that is not going through that is not going through now so let us go to another one because i don't want to buy much i want to buy something worth ten thousand naira so yeah this is silver he had uh close to 637 trade that's good so i'm gonna no that's not so see what has close to five thousand and twenty four trades and that is good so let me click on it and its limit is between ten thousand naira to fifty thousand naira so let me click on buy well that one is not still going through that one is not still going through guys i check out this other one house let me click on this okay this one went through and uh i think i we're going to do ten thousand naira what 10,000 naira what then we click on buy usdt so it brought us to this page where the next thing going to click on the payment method payment method is where you're going to see the guy's bank details and listing i have 
14 minutes, 44 is, it keeps reading 40, 40, 39, 38, 37 minutes to do this transaction. If not, they're going to log me out. So make sure you check the time limit. They usually give 15 minutes to do your transaction. So at uh, the next one, you're going to play, you, sorry, you, uh, I'm going to, you, you will at, uh, click on payment method. And I'm going to show you the bank. They usually use uh, this Coda Bank. Coda Bank is an online microfinance bank that is that was established recently in Nigeria. It's very very easy to use. So I would advise you to go and download Coda Bank. I'm using it. It's very very easy for me. So, well, definitely I will be using my own Coda Bank. So you can see its name there: Abib, Abiondu. Uh, Kuda microfinance the bank details is there so i'm just going to carry a pen now i'm just going to carry a pen and a piece of paper to type the bank details sorry guys sorry so uh the details is 20 uh, 200 436. His name is Habib Abiyodu Baba Lola. That's his name. And uh, also, the thing you have to keep in mind is that you can decide to call this person, you can decide to chat this person. So, if you want to chat the person, you see the chat there. The chat is on the, like I've said, top, uh, sorry top right the chart is top right you can see a chart there you can chat that person just simply now he he has already sent me a message you say i will say okay about to send about to send the money then if you wish to call in if you wish to call in at your top right, you will see this icon there, call. It's going to bring this number and you can call him as well. It's going to pick. So I don't want to start calling him now because my time is almost, my time is running out. I have a few minutes to, to, to do this transaction. I have about 12 minutes left. So let us go on and uh, to transfer the sum of 10,000 Naira to, to him. I don't know why this thing is here. I don't know why this thing is here, but uh, I'm just going to ignore it. And uh, let me... So let me send money to him. Uh, firstly, it's 10,000 now. Select Barcuda Bank. Account number. Two zero zero four eight nine six four three six. Enter now. Sit down. Then uh, the next one is uh, I will click on next so that it will bring uh, the guy's name out. Okay, that's his name. Baba Lola. Baba Lola Abiodu Abib. Then I will click. I will understand. Continue. Then my pins. Obviously, ask for my pin. Then confirm. Come on, Coda Bank. This is the time for you to show that you are. Come on, man. This is the first time it's really slow. It has never been this slow before. I have a few minutes left. Come on, Coda Bank. Oh, finally. <laughs> it's done. So I just click on OK. I think they're going to send me a receipt. They will send me a receipt on my Gmail, but uh, I'm not I'm I'm not gonna wait for that. So let's go back to my Binance and we just chat him on and be like, okay, I will say payment payment made 
name you will know the name my name that uh the person that uh, he received the money from so the next thing that i'm gonna do now i need to confirm if this this cash actually went through it showed me deliver but uh they usually send me message on my gmail so no message yet no message yet from coda bank so i'm just gonna let that be no message yet from coda bank it shows here that uh i've already transferred ten thousand naira, but no message yet from them nothing nothing yet so the next one i'm going to just do after this if you are done just simply type on transfer the phone or the the down you see transfer the phone and i will click on it you click on transfer next click on transfer next it says it say if you are paid contact the counter payment can't okay contact the counterparty well uh they say i should contact the counterparty usually not like that but uh let me try to call him let me call him Oh, oh there's no need to call him there's no need to call him guys he just released it now as we speak you see it he just released it because he has received the payment now he has credited my own account so that's done I'm going to click on done then go back again so we are now going back again now back back we are going back we are going back I'm going back on home you click on the same way you came the same way we came here that's where we're going to click sorry that thing is disturbing me so we click on that icon again then on that binance light you shift hit to your right then we're going to do that you go take us back to the first place we came from well you know this place then after that we have our home the money is already there so the next thing we're going to do now is to the next thing we're going to do now is to convert so you see buy sell deposit you click on convert so we're, we're going to convert usdt since that's what we buy to to dodge to do sorry to dodge confirm then uh let's let's convert 20 usdt so we click on pre preview conversion to so say 41 the uh, 41 dodge we are getting 41 dodge for 20 usdt you have four seconds five seconds to immediately do this transaction if not it's going to wipe away so we're going to refresh then click again you see it's counting it's counting it's counting successful that's how you buy your dodge that's how you i hope you of course you follow the instruction i would have viewed my history but i don't want to show you my account obviously sorry i cannot show you my account but uh you you show you option to view your history it's going to send you a private message on your transaction on what you recently converted so you can convert the usdt usdt is like a dollar you can convert it to any currency you want to convert it to simply just click on that then you click on convert you can convert it to, to any other currency you want to convert it to so well uh i hope i've been able to teach you this stuff once and for all and uh i wish you well guys in case of any other question you want to ask me please don't hesitate ask me just uh, ask me the question and uh, i'm here to always uh give you the little knowledge that i have bye guys